Hi and welcome back, Henry of HRU Bricks with what we know so far about LEGO Spike Prime. LEGO Spike Prime is the next product in the expanding LEGO education range bridging the introduction of coding and mechanical building to classrooms around the world. It comes with 523 pieces, it retails for $329 US and it's available for pre-order right now. Importantly it comes with this new Smart Hub. The Smart Hub has 6 in outs, a 5x5 light panel, Bluetooth connection, speaker, six axis gyro, and a rechargeable battery. Most importantly, it's got onboard RAM. Now I'm hoping that you'll be able to upload your code to the brick, disconnect from the computer, and actually run the hub. And that way you can actually get a bit more freedom with what you build, especially in the Technic world of building machinery. Now there's new sensors that come along with it. We've got our standard IR sensor with distance and navigation, our red, green, blue color and proximity sensors, as well as a touch sensor. There's two new motors, one large and one small. They both have integrated rotation sensors, so you're able to position them very well and very fine. So if you want to have a look at an example, my Lego Boost Great Ball contraption uh, that I've built actually uses this feature of the Lego Boost and the inbuilt motors and that, and you can actually, it actually positions a robotic arm that picks up a ball and moves it to a different box. So links below, have a look at that one. 11 new elements, including my favorite 1x3x3 one by three, by three connector beam, which is available on a Lego Pick a Brick store right now. The app, of course, the app is based on the Scratch block programming. Now, if you, if you use Scratch, it's very easy, it's very familiar. You're able to drag and drop code blocks as you need into the app space and then build your app. Very intuitive program, very easy to pick up, and a lot of fun to use. Importantly, it operates with integers and it stores variables. That's one big thing that's actually missing from the Boost app, and it does lose some functionality because of that. The target market is obviously schools, uh, but I think that it can go so much further than this. The hub, with what it is, especially in the Great Ball Contraption world or the Technic Lego world, you can actually use it as a replacement for Mindstorm. Potentially, it's a lot smaller. It's got a few less in and outs, and it's probably going to have a little bit of a different application style. However, it's still something that can be used in that, that area. I am hoping that it, the, the Spy Chrome Hub and Boost Hub and the Powered Up Hub and the Control Plus are all um, able to talk and actually integrate through the app and then the world is, is really limitless. Um, is it a Mindstorm 2.0? Not sure, it's definitely not in that target demographic, it's in the lower end of the younger demographic audience, uh, but it does give us a hint about what LEGO could come up with and would, will be coming up with to replace that, that Mindstorm. It's getting quite old now, six years, technology is moving on, programming is moving on. So we'll definitely be watching this space. So click that subscribe button and hit that bell. You'll get notifications of future reviews of this and up and, up and coming uh, Technic sets as well as importantly builds. Now I do release all my builds and I put my stud IO files, the design files on Rebrickable so you can actually go away and watch this video and build the sets yourself. So the ideas are flowing for this so it's time to get building. I'm Henry of HRU Bricks. Thanks for watching.